little nervous, but I'm gonna have faith in myself and say that it's just a work in progress. Oh my lord. Did I do- I feel like I didn't do enough. I don't know. I might be eliminated after this one, I'm not even gonna lie. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cesar with a video here today. I bring you guys probably my favorite video in a very long time that introduces Design Royale. Basically, I have eight different contestants here designing with the same exact brief. For the record, the brief is Courage JD is a professional Fortnite player. He'll be attending a Fortnite LAN in Berlin. The event is on Friday, March 18th, 2022. The starting time for the event is at 8 a.m. PST. We need a poster to post on Twitter in any dimension supported that brings hype to the actual event and showcases all the information stated. We'd love to have a confident, memorable, and an inviting image. So it's not supposed to be easy. It's a challenge. It's going to be fun. They also have three different perks to actually choose from. They have Asset King, Critique, and Mood to help them out throughout their journey. Asset King gives you an extra three HD photos of Courage and three photos of the location already cut out and ready to go. Critique, you actually get a one minute live feedback anywhere that you are in the design currently, and you can use it whenever in your challenge. And then Mood, you guys will receive a full mood board of awesome posters I believe are really cool, hopefully helping out with layouts and other things to gain some inspiration. Competing today, we actually have Arceus, who's a designer for OTK and Rise Nation, Isaac, who is a graphic and motion designer for E-United, have Omar, who's a thumbnail designer for Ludwig. Next, we have Roy, who's a freelance designer, but just really awesome and cool. Zach, who's a graphic designer for Xset. Arash, who is yet another freelance designer. Drank, who is a senior designer for Philly Esports. And last but not least, we have Jaden, who's a creative mind over at Subliners. And then, of course, judging alongside me, we have George Nowak, who also has a YouTube channel, by the way. Check it out down below, please. I think it's really worth it. He's also just a really cool guy. If you guys like learning, like, college way, I just don't. You could do it over there at George Nowak's channel. <laughs> For the record, he's a graphic and motion designer at 100 Thieves alongside with me, and uh, that's that's who we are. So without further ado, let's jump into the first episode, we'll call it pilot episode of Design Royale. All right, three, two, one, design. My idea is that for me, I'm gonna be breaking it down into a, uh, back in this abstract one, the Fortnite one really caught my eye. Oh, I probably should have downloaded these first, lol. Man, this is going to be difficult. I got to throw my music on because I cannot design without music. Uh, my phone's not here. I need to listen to music. One sec. We love Fortnite. We love Fortnite. We love Fortnite. Everybody knows to produce in this world, you got to juice in this world. Oh, I spilt it everywhere. That's a great start. Ooh, okay. So I actually already li I like the different layouts that people are going for already. Some people got the vertical layout, got a little bit of a vertical or a more horizontal layout. Okay. Yeah, I think Jaden so far is the only person working in a square layout, which is going to be very interesting. Oh, Jaden's got a little offset going on over here though, too. I don't know what to do for my backing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really curious as to what RC is saying, is, is saying, because I feel like he's playing a lot with like the background right now. And yeah. like, is he like, I'm, I'm wondering if he's like scared about contrast. Some of the, the assets are starting to get muddled together a little bit. So if you look at this, it's just Fortnite and then World Cup. I'm doing Fortnite and then Courage Cup. Like, let's just call it the Courage Cup Berlin. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's calling it the Courage Cup. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So he okay. has a logo. Oh, I, I just saw Isaac flash the screen for a second. He actually put in another logo for Invitational too. 20 minutes. I just hit just hit the 20 minute mark. Already 10 minutes went wow. by. Already 10 minutes went by. That's insane. I feel like Arshi is a little, he's, he's a little hesitant on what he wants to do just right now. He's a little, I feel like he's a little nervous about the sides of the actual dome. Like what is he going to do with it? And maybe there's some like inspiration that we can take away quickly. What is he going to do? Just looking for Fortnite themes, it looks like. If we're looking at Arceus for a second, I do think he might be playing with a little bit too much white. Oh man, this is, I'm, I'm getting kind of, oh, it's ten, eight, nine minutes left. Nine minutes left for these guys. Nine minutes. I'm a little nervous, but I'm gonna have faith in myself and say that it's just a work in progress. That's just about it. I hold myself to a high standard, so. Oh, okay, Zach. All right, you ordered, you got the critique. What's up, bro? Okay, so I'm struggling with the idea of putting Berlin in the back because I mean, obviously it's gonna restate it basically in the front portion of it. I think I would recommend your struggle for the Berlin thing. I think in the background is your colors might be a little bit kind of dull. So that way the obviously the only thing you really could do is either do an overlay like you're doing right now with an opacity difference. But if the colors themselves were the red and blue, more vibrant color and the, the Berlin was white, that will give you an idea and a contrast. I actually put black letters on top of it to add like date and time and stuff like that above it, you know what I mean? 
Oh my god, one minute warning. This is it. One minute? Oh, come on, 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 come on. Okay, I saved myself just enough time for even more juice. Oh my lord. Did I do? I feel like I didn't do enough. I don't know. Let's get everybody to unmute. This is change. It's no more change time. Let's see. Ooh. Oh boy. Fuck. <laughs> oh. All right, Arshi. So I'm gonna give you a quick little little second. Everybody else is gonna get a little second as well to kind of figure out or give us the idea of your base, for what you guys going on for your design, and also what you plan on doing if we were to move on to the next round. All right, so basically I was going for like the normal Berlin courage kind of theme. Basically I called it the brave as it, courage also means bravery and I was thinking about calling it the brave. If I had a chance to, I would actually make his, uh, like the fixing up and like what I am thinking about doing uh, later on in the project would be to fix the typing and making it possibly connected to the building as well. And then I would also fix the clouds and make them to his logo and branding. Arceus, brother. All right, let me know where, where your head's at. I wanted to go for something a little bit more cleaner and kind of minimalistic just because it's like, I wanted it to be more event, like type focus and event focus essentially. And if I were to move on, I'd probably fix the legibility and probably some like composition issues. Drank, what about you, brother? Wow, well, this was a little confusing, but I just went for like a clean style Get all the points across, kind of try to come up with a little name for the uh, event. If I was going to move on though, I'd probably try to make a little event logo for it to put in the center and remove the Courage logo. Isaac, what about you? Honestly, I went for something a little more uh, different in terms of like the blue. And uh, if I were to change anything, probably pretty much everything to be honest with you. Probably the scale of things, etc. Just basically compositional issues. All right, Jaden. So I went with like a flashy sort of deal. The title is like the Battle of Berlin. So I think of battle, I think of like gritty. I, I definitely add a little bit more color in some different areas. I need to fix up some spacing issues because I can I can see so many things wrong with this. All right, Omar, what about you? My graphic is very early on at the moment, but pro, as you can see from the title, it says frenzy and I'm trying to put more focus to, on that. So uh, I want to make it like more grungy and I want to make it so that the graphic is like they're announcing that card just coming to their event, not that courage announcing that he's going. Fair, fair. Um, Rui, what about you? I went for the Courage Cup as well, the title of this event, and I wanted to keep it minimalistic uh, while adding pops of colors so that they stand out and it's eye-catching to the viewer. What I would work on if I were to go through would be definitely adding more shapes, a little bit more color, and maybe fix up a little bit of the visual hierarchy. Uh, and then last but not least, or last in this case, is Zach. I mean, going through with it kind of thing, I, I try to focus more on kind of the text, the purpose of the poster itself, right? And, you know, I think the critique session definitely helped trying to take away the focus of trying to put Berlin in the background, obviously, and bring it more towards the front, work with those colors a little better. I would try and work more on, obviously, the lighting and stuff of it. I mean, looking at the panels and stuff, it's, I could tell that, obviously, the blue panels on the yellowish background, the certain sections aren't, you know, fitting to what it is. All right, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to be picking my favorite to go on, and, of course, George will be picking his as well. So with everybody talking about their kind of ideas and what they want to do, I'm really curious, and I'm actually going to put forth Isaac in my case here, because I'm really curious. I like the composition he has going on here. I won't say much on it. I'm really curious what he's actually do with the scaling of the actual dome and Courage himself. So I'm gonna say my absolute that we're gonna put forward is gonna be Isaac. So there's a lot of these that I really enjoy, but I think the one that stands out to me the most is Arceus and Drank's compositions. So I'm torn between one or the other, but I think when I'm looking at the visual hierarchy, the design for Arceus's stands out a little bit more. So I'm going to move Arceus forward. Nice. Okay. All right. So that means everybody else that was not mentioned, obviously, is up on the chopping board. I, this is so... <laughs> I, why am I laughing? This is so awful. <laughs> so with that being said, though, me and Jordan are going to discuss who moves on. And you guys just sit here and talk amongst yourselves, all right? All right, George. <laughs> this is, they're probably like, what's going on? So, okay, here's my thing. I like the idea of Jaden's kind of like fun. He's, it's the only like grungy aspect here. And I think what's missing in my, and he also was kind of talked about it too, is the color. And I'm really curious if he, if he does add blues here, this could go crazy. 
I, I really, I really trust in the ideas of Jaden, but also then Zach. Even though I gave Zach the critique about the, you know, the white and blue kind of like being too dull, I think he backed himself on it by trying to like say like, hey, I still want this in the background, and then take some simple text in the foreground. What's the issue with the the idea behind it though is I get like grunge and clean, but like it's almost two different like two different ideas in the background and the foreground. So there's my idea on that. And then for Archie, I didn't actually enjoy what he was thinking about making everything kind of connected. I get the idea behind it, but I think too much connection could be a problem in my opinion. Drank, right? I, even though I like his composition, he was more focused on the actual composition being supported with a, like a, a logo. To be honest, I actually really like the way the Courage logo looks on Drank's composition already. So I think you and I are on the same page. The design looks very refined already. I think it's probably the most visually appealing one out of all of them so far, but it's just a question of where do you take the design from here? For Rui's composition, I can see so much that he can do already. Like if we're talking like lighting, color correction, like I think he did a very good job at least composing it. And then Omar's, if we're, <laughs> I love Omar as a person, as a designer, he's a brilliant designer. Like on 30 minutes guys, don't, don't, don't forget. It's not complete enough for me to actually, I like his ideas, right? But does his ideas support his idea of how much he did in 30 minutes? Like if I give him 45 minutes, how much more refined can he actually go from here? I feel like he might be, the most behind in this case. I, I think, I think I know who we're gonna, I think I know who we're gonna move on. I think from our little, little quick talk, I think I know who we're gonna move on. All right, so it, it was, it was not easy. It was not easy. And let me just say, you guys all did fan, like literally fantastic for 30 minutes. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna troll. I can see all the ideas in there. Can we see a further revised idea with people who have a solid idea to begin with? right that's kind of like the basis and the idea that we went for so with that being said though i think someone that needed to go through no matter what in this case and we were just like really focused on it was ready for this rui rui have a concept go. right let's go baby Rui had a concept where I really felt like I can see a progression of where else he can go besides also having a really solid composition to begin with, right? You can see the idea, you can see the hierarchy. There's obviously fixes that could be nailed and happened. And that's just basically up to him at this point to see if he can actually figure it out. The last spot, however, that is so unfortunate. We did like half just already gone. Um, it was difficult. And George kind of mentioned like, like, we can't, we just can't let this guy go. So low key, this is, this is a shout out to George for this last person. But George, if you want to take it away of, of why you thought this person should make it and uh, who it is. Yeah, so Sasso and I were bouncing back and forth between judging composition, concept, and I think one that stood out to me the most was Drank. So Drank's composition, I'm very curious to see where it goes. I think visually it looks very refined. The only concern that I have is where do you take that from here? There you go, Drank, you're in the final four. So that does mean all the other homies that didn't make it, y'all are still fantastic. 30 minutes is a joke, by the way, I would throw up. With that being said, we have Arceus, Isaac, Drank, and Rui going through as our final four and, you know, in contention of actually winning the entire thing. All right, so Arceus, Drank, Isaac, Ruby, it's now time. You guys have 45 minutes now to complete the design. After this, there's gonna be one of you guys, or excuse me, two of you guys are gonna move on to the actual final 1v1, who's gonna be crowned our first battle royale, design royale champion. And so, are you guys ready? Yes, yep. sir. Let's get it. Let's All get right. it. All right, so three, two, one, start designing. All right, no more ring on buddy Hold on. i feel like it's time to actually focus all right i'm gonna try to make this work oh man this is tough all right so as we're here right now the homies that didn't make it are still here we're still talking i'm gonna go to arashi here who apparently told me i'm saying his name entirely wrong the entire time that's okay arashi homie who do you think is actually gonna take this with the composition that we have right now personally with when it comes to colors composition place with everything i'm about to go with arceus yo Jaden, what do you think uh yeah i'm gonna go with arceus too okay uh omar same with arceus and zach what are you thinking it's a hard choice because obviously they're all great but it's 
I'm gonna go with Isaac. Real quick, George, at this point, who do you think has the strongest composition that you would even say is completed now if they were to choose a winner right now? I would say right now, Arceus and Drank have the strongest compositions, but I am very curious to see where Isaac and Rui go because they can take it so far if they know what they're doing. So I'm gonna hope that they know that. I kind of want to keep the concept that I had before with him more in the back, but I'm not 100% sure what I'll do with that. I think I'm going to make everything kind of go in a line, so that way it's a little bit easier to view the information. I think that might be okay. Maybe we use something different. Like, I like this because it's dark. We could try with this, actually. I think Drank is making some interesting changes so he's making a lot more changes to the composition than i initially thought and that was my biggest concern i like what we do with the the thieves logo or the the hundred thieves logo on the chest though basically changing it to that blue to kind of match with the whole background or i guess theme and the whole thing in general i blew that i just didn't even notice that part nice yeah <laughs> he i would say he did it early on and it's it takes away i mean obviously it's you know he's in a hundred thieves jersey but it gives it more the feel that it's courage's type of event like it's more for him at that point Okay, so that kind of reads a little bit better, but still kind of chalk. Could it be because it's too much white or there's not enough contrast? We can do something with this. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Like something like this, like it's all in, like green, you know, it fits in with the background sort of. This already looks so much better, I feel like. Isaac's about to add something next to that Fortnite wait, invitation. Wait. I'm trying to see what he's about to do. I have a plan now. I think I have the plan now. I just got to make sure this is going in the right direction make you much smaller because I think you're a little big. I don't like this actually now I'm looking back at it. I think he's starting to realize that the design is looking a little bit too centered. So his focus now, at least what I would hope is to make it a, a little bit asymmetrical, right? Yes, yes, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this actually might work. Arceus actually is wearing different colors. Do I actually like this better? I think I like this better. I think it's it's giving the, the headline the contrast that it needed. I don't know how I feel about that red. The timer is at 21 minutes. I feel like there can be some other stuff. Like, I like the star from Courage. Like, like I feel like the Courage star needs to be on it somewhere. I'm a little bit concerned with Rui's design because it doesn't look like much has changed for the layout. It's just been small refinements to the colors. I, I still think there's some issues with the typography that he needs to fix up. So I'm hoping that he tackles those before the time runs out. I feel like right now, Loki, all these guys are on the same playing field. Right now, it almost seems like they're all kind of redesigning the entire composition besides, I think in this case, Rui. But right now, I feel like it's a very, very open contention of who actually moves on i just feel like it's missing something but i don't want it to be too distracting like you know like just small little details you know what i'm saying like see that actually like just gives it like a oh Ooh, okay 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 it's gonna work i'm gonna fix the sky though i don't like it being gray i think it needs to be i think it needs to go a little bit more towards the fun aspect oh i can't make up my mind here boys all right, so nine minutes left. I would say everyone's kind of like finding off, like at this point, there's no way you can make composition changes and make it actually look good at the final 10 minutes in this case. So I think Arceus made a good decision distributing more color throughout the composition. I think the only concern I have with it now is that the design is very balanced and centered. And I think I liked the layout of the previous design maybe a little bit more. If I were Isaac right now, I would focus on fixing that typography in the bottom. I think that would clear up a lot of hierarchy issues. I would maybe even get rid of the text at the very bottom and oh my, just it's start like he heard focusing. You. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and I would start focusing on getting that information to maybe be a little bit less prominent because there's just so many elements that are going on in this layout right now. So these guys are at one minute left. I don't know if this is gonna get me through, but wait, when in doubt, boys, always add green. I don't know what else I can add. I think this is good. I think it might be worse. All right, I guess that's it. It was nice knowing you boys. It's done. Woo, it's done. I think it's done. I think I'm good. It's not really my favorite design. I gotta be honest with you, but it's very close. I think this is fine. I might be eliminated after this one. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
Oh, man. So what I'm uh, what I'm actually going to do here is going to me and George are going to go ahead talk about the design over again and give you guys your final two. We're going to move on to the 1v1 and uh, just, we're just going to see what happens. I appreciate you guys. Me and George are going to talk it through and I come back with the news, all right? All right, George. So looking through it, we have the RC is heading to Berlin, a complete new concept. Drank also the completely, I would say completely new concept, but more of like a refined idea of adding some separation between what he had before and color wise. I think what a complete new concept in the idea and then really kind of sticking with his original idea, adding, adding in some more color correction and gradients and all that good stuff. So let's figure this out though, based on the fact like who do you think had the most improvement to the design? This is really tough because I feel like in most of these designs, everyone took a step forward and maybe a step back, except for maybe Drank's composition. I know it's very similar to the original one, but the main concern you and I had was, can he find a way to elevate the design? And in his case, I think he actually did. Arceus, like I said, step forward in adding color, but maybe a step backwards in the layout. I'm not too sure I, I love where the elements are placed in his new design compared to the old one. Isaacs, such a cool idea. Had he come up with this idea of the Fortnite characters dropping into Berlin within the first maybe 10, 15 minutes, he would have so much more time to refine it, but because it was at the tail end of the competition, it maybe looks less refined than what he could have come up with. Ruiz, the colors pop out a little bit more. I can see all of the subtle changes that he made, but I don't know if that pushes it over the edge for me. I still think there's some hierarchy issues, maybe some new issues that come with the amount of color that's being used. I feel like everyone at the at the moment, like I said, I like the idea of having everyone have like a step back, step forward, but also there is stronger concepts. So I, there are strong thinkers. I do think Arceus, the time almost gave him too much. I feel like he, he kind of went with this really intricate idea with design. When you, get, you have a lot of a complexity with like the shapes, you know, interacting with each other, very small, like highlighted, like very miniature skinny lines to actually add more of a value of a premium value to it. I love the ideas there. Dranks is great. There is a bit of, not the word amateur, but a bit of- It feels a little dated exactly a time period difference if we're comparing composition like thought process levels to it as well i think i do think isaac has this idea of kind of the idea of dropping into berlin but he's still missing a lot of color correction to it though i really like the concept and i'm on the same page with you it's just a matter of fixing some of the hierarchy and not having everything compete with each other my biggest issue was the typography towards the bottom seems more of an afterthought. This is this is rough. This is actually really this is actually really rough. This was not easy at all, and I mean that sincerely. I had a much harder time going through these with Sesso than I initially thought. If we're looking at in the time limit refinement of concept refinement of the imagery and thinking of the event itself. If this were a real event, what would catch people's attention the most and what could be turned into like a branded experience? The person that I would pick is Isaac. So his design, there are definitely a lot of things that I would fix. I think the hierarchy was the biggest thing that stood out to me, especially with the typography in the bottom, are things that I would maybe focus on changing. But the idea is there. Had there been a little bit more time to refine how it's composited, I think this one works the strongest, in my opinion, for an event. So I'm moving forward with Isaac. I'm 100% on there with him when it comes to the decision. I think it was just, it's a brilliant, it was a brilliant concept and idea. I think the timeline, I'm pretty sure Isaac, you know yourself of the obvious things that you can still fix or, or uh, manipulate or do. Isaac, you you clutched up, you obviously move on. There's obviously only one spot left though for everybody else. Composition wise, the idea of going back to the brief as well, not letting that go. There was someone who I believe really kind of like spoke to the brief entirely and kind of let that be the whole celebratory factor. With that being said, the last person moving on for the 1v1s to crown our first champion will be Arceus. Let's go. Oh, good, good job, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. So that means there is going to be a 1v1 of a one hour challenge. I'm going to say, I'm not going to say the challenge just yet. A one hour challenge of Arceus versus Isaac. And uh, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be intense. So just stick around.
All right, guys, so it's time. We have Isaac and Arceus all ready to battle it out. So they have no idea what we're doing yet. And Loki, I didn't know either until the next hour. You know, it's fine. I, we do it. We figure it out. Uh, so you guys ready, Arceus and Isaac? I feel as if there's something in this world that just needed to happen. I feel like it doesn't happen enough. You ready to figure out what it is? Oh, yeah. Yes, it's sir. We are ready, man. An eSport team idea. So we basically need you guys to, of course, create an eSport project based on pirates that that, that bro that uh, bro what <laughs> okay so it, i feel like it just doesn't happen enough so we're gonna be doing that uh for the 1v1 okay all right so with the rules now explained are you guys ready isaac rc you guys good to go yes sir, yes, sir. all right three two one Start designing. All right, boys. Just off the brief by itself, to be honest with you, I see that they're going, they want a welcome graphic and a versus graphic. So welcome graphic, I'm already thinking like, I feel like a wanted poster could really bring out the whole pirate feel because this is the person we want on their team. Let's see, I'm probably gonna go for some kind of island approach and have that kind of uh, look and feel to that. I might also go for maybe, I mean, I'm thinking maybe like more going towards the boats. And the cool thing about this idea, I've done a lot of these ideas before with like the little, texture vibe going on so i have faith i can win this thing my only initial impression is that this challenge in my eyes is a lot more difficult than what everyone started out with because branding is so broad and i'm interested to see if they take like unique directions with like the deliverables they create like it, it can literally they can do whatever they want basically literally whatever and i think that's the fun of it i know it's more like you guys are like this is not enough information some of you guys could be thinking that that's the point it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be a challenge they literally only have an hour to create a full branding for a, a something that's that's ridiculous so we know that so we're playing into that so for that record let's see how they're doing uh, i think i want to start with the the layout first before i even bother adding anything to be honest because it's uh i feel like that's what screwed me over last time it was pretty general the whole idea like the overall execution was in there we have like a more of a vertical format here than a horizontal format for isaac so i'm i'm, I'm curious i'm just i don't know how they're gonna fill the space i'm sure their brands are just running wild i think i would personally start with a big ship and like working on color scheme and getting things from there. For some reason, I think working on typography here is probably like a, a hurtful standpoint, especially you're not working on finding a font that agrees with the actual idea of pirates. So I feel that's how I feel I would start personally. I feel like a lot of like my design process, I don't know if you guys can like relate, but it's like, it's more, more or less about like just experimenting and just kind of like going with the flow of it. I feel like that's kind of like, in terms of stuff like this, like a, like a contest, it's like super risky. Cause it's like, it's not, it'll either work or it won't kind of have to pray that it works. That's kind of what I was doing the majority of the time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try some coloring to make this work. I think I'm actually going to try and go off the mood board a little bit more. You know what? I, you know, okay. This opens up something for me that I might want to try. I might actually do some other stuff with icons, which I'm actually going to try for it again. Arsis is, I think he just likes to just go. Yeah, he's he's already, what it looks like is getting close to doing the first deliverable. I think if I were to approach a branding project with this limited amount of time, I think I would jump into design and move on really quickly. 38 minutes, I wasted so much time on this. Forget it, forget what I was trying to do. Let's just forget about everything that I was trying to do in the first place. My idea is treasure map, that leads to a W. I feel like a nice like symbolic thing is that the enemy gets led off to the map because it's like that shows that we want us to win, you know? No, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I know it. boys ggs well played hope for the best i'm just i'm just done i tried as hard as i could and uh i don't know Ugh. <laughs> holy crap you guys actually did really good oh my goodness all right i'm gonna leave you guys now i'm gonna hop into a call with george and just see see where it works all right i'm gonna go see what we got, who's gonna be our crown first champion of Design Royale. You guys ready? I'm gonna dip out. I'll see you guys soon, okay?
All right, George, I'm not gonna lie. Isaac, for some reason, sounds a little bit defeated. I don't know if he's like, what's going yeah. on over there, but we got the products in front of us. Let's start off with our RCS, kind of like looking at it, diving into it and kind of like see like, you know, what intuitive things he did and like how we feel about it. Well, I think one of my favorite things immediately is that there were two different deliverables. So one of my favorite parts about seeing a brand and how people expand it is different applications. And in this case, I think it was very smart that he did decide to do a vertical and a horizontal layout. I know Isaac was struggling a lot with the colors at first, but looking at his finished product, I think that it looks a lot more refined. Overall, the composition looks really nice. A few parts feel a little bit rushed, but I think overall the composition works really well. The strengths for Arceus are that his branding feels very cohesive. The style is there. There's just a few compositional elements that are missing. For me, the strengths with Isaacs is like the idea of this very like flag like idea. I feel like I see like a, a flag texture of like a waving flag in the background, which is like a really fun idea. And even the placement of the actual player himself, even though the sizing does feel a little bit more distance in the sense of like, I, I liked it before when the, the, the type was kind of like over him or behind him because it kind of felt like they were playing with each other. Given that though, the actual element in the background of the player is a really nice touch. And again, the background is very, very strong. Whether if you thought one had the edge over another, there, there is a very clear, there, excuse me, there isn't a very clear winner in my opinion here. The winner is going to have to be... All right, so it, it was not an easy choice. I'm not going to lie, it was... <laughs> It really wasn't, um, but I'm gonna let George describe why it wasn't the, the most easy choice in the world. This was a really difficult decision. I think that both pieces, given the time, had some pros and cons to it. So Arceus, I really enjoyed seeing that there were two different deliverables. For Isaac, the composition, the layout, I think feels functional. This is, I, I was picturing the same situation if I was scrolling through Twitter. I think Isaac's graphic works really well functionally. You see the information, you see the player very clearly. There were just a few areas that didn't feel refined. All right, so with that being said, the winner of the first Design Royale is gonna be... It's gonna be Arceus. Ta-da! GG's. GG's, dude. GG's. So, Arceus, you are the first 1v1, not 1v1, sorry. You are the first Design Royale champion and uh, yeah, I mean, do you have anything to say to the, the people who are probably were rooting for you? Probably weren't, you know, it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, but probably were rooting for you in this case. Do you have anything to say? So like to my two fans out there, I just wanted to say this was really hard. And I just want to give a shout out to Isaac. He did really well. This is like coming up with ideas on the spot. It's like people think this is so easy, but it's not. It's like you can have a brief, you can have a mood board you can have everything but it, and you'll still struggle to come up with that idea and the fact that you know that we came this far it's just like that just get, that gives me a reassurance you know on like my skill and everything oh uh -huh. look at you you're feeling all confident now what about you isaac you feeling confident more confident in your ability to perform in under an hour even though it's probably not that irregular for you but you know how are you feeling as you said it's not my regular i honestly would probably rework a lot of what i did honestly it was still a really fun tournament i enjoyed it i don't think uh it, 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 i mean it turned out the way that maybe i anticipated but i think it turned out well for you know a lot of other people and i'm, I'm honestly I'm, I'm really glad to be able to participate in this it was a lot of fun that was awesome i have Appreciate you guys so much. Yo, also shout out George Nowak. Oh, don't forget to like subscribe. Look at him down below. All that good stuff. All his information is there. He's went to college. I didn't. That's a, that's just his way of teaching. We have our way, but his way is also really critical and awesome. So you guys should do so for sure check him out. Also follow RCS, follow Isaac. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below, however, what we can possibly do differently or what we could possibly do to even like spice things up. Maybe perks, different ideas. Let me know. This is basically the episode that's kind of like testing everything out and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So, so HQ out. Now to get a key smiling, stay positive and stay a freaking productive guys. Later, much love and enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. All that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.